What is up, Sash Squad? We are back with another vid. Vid Why'd you take it? Because I'm the star of the show. <laughs> <laughs> baby. What's up, Sash Squad? We are back with another video. And today, baby girl, tell them what are we doing today? What are we doing today? Today, you guys, a special delivery is coming today. It's actually something that I ordered for Josh. It's kind of for me, but like mostly for him because you'll see. We'll talk about it more later. It's gonna You're be. just gonna just talk about it like I'm not just sitting here. <laughs> yes. Also, I've been wanting to open up our stroller and our car seat, or maybe just one of them. And just honestly, we can take them out of the box and probably store them in um, the nursery closet for now but I just want to look at them and start getting familiar I should also probably practice like pulling up the stroller pushing it putting the car seat in but the good thing about our car seat is we can go where we bought it and they'll like install it in our car and kind of show us how to do all that I've also just heard that you need to introduce your baby and your dog properly and especially with Rue she's like very loving and just like you know she always wants to be around us so I've heard that you bring in a baby blanket or a piece of clothing that the baby had like at the hospital and kind of give that to your dog first to smell before you just like set the baby down and let your dog smell the baby. So anyways, we're going to be doing stuff like that with Rue and I think it would be good for her to get used to the car seat and the stroller yeah. now and just like realize like, okay, this is your new life. <laughs> like it's not just you anymore. I feel like I wear these pants every day, but they're so comfortable and I actually ordered two more pairs off H&M in different colors. Even though Josh said that one of the colors I ordered was like kind of the same as these ones, but I think it's different. I'll just never understand. Especially with Lululemon leggings. What? You can never have too many Lulus. Well, this, of the same color, Savannah probably has 15 black pair of Lululemon leggings. Yeah, you can never have too many. Yes, you can. They're literally the same thing. And no. also, you can go up the street to uh, Jenny's leggings and she'll give you the same leggings for $15. Baby, you know Jenny mm -hmm. does not compare to Lulu. Jenny's leggings at the mall, y'all already know, with the mannequin out, the legs look like really like muscular and like the booty is like very toned, those type of leggings. Those mannequins, mm -hmm. you know they got it for like $20 and they're the exact same leggings. They are not the exact same leggings at Lulu, but I will say that I do like to find dupes and more affordable options because Lulu is pricey. Yes. But nothing compares to Lulu. Like I don't care what anyone says because there's some Amazon leggings that are like kind of good. They're not Lulu though. They're not Lulu though. Like, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna come out with some uh, joggers called Juju. Oh, well, that's original. We're switching gears here, but I feel like we really didn't have a lot of friends when we lived in LA. It was kind of just us every single day, and I was content with that. Like, we had so much fun our first year of marriage, but I think we've realized how important fellowship is and community, and... We didn't have as many friends as we do now. Yeah. We had, like, a few friends, especially, like, a couple friends. Mm -hmm. But anyways, you guys have been asking how, like, the transition has been moving from... Because we moved from LA to Dallas, and now we live in Michigan, and just kind of, like, making friends in those new states. And to be honest in Dallas we were like just starting to tap into community there we hadn't found a home church yet but we are like our only friends I would I would consider them our only friends was Keelan and Kyra and Kalia and Kalia yes our They're, only friends that we like saw on a more consistent basis like, yeah did actually things with them we had other people out there but yeah. I saw Kaylin almost every other week playing basketball they were our friends that we could call and be like do you want to go play pickleball or do you want to yeah. come over or something you know like like just friends so we were that was like the number one thing that I was sad about leaving. We also, I feel like, have been staying in touch with other friends. Like, we're obviously still in touch with them, and then we have friends in LA that we're in touch with. But moving to Michigan was a whole different story because we have family and friends here, so we knew coming into it that we would just be stepping into community. Like, you can start to see your real and true friends, especially like if you do move. Like, our other friends in different states can actually start to see that these aren't just people who just like just talk. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Who just talk. They talk. actually want to have relationships. We actually want to just have a relationship and accountability and things like that. Moving to the East Coast, though, our other friends, Chelsea and Nick, you guys know that it's been cool. And because they're also, well, they were pregnant. Mm -hmm. It's so cool to have that dynamic with them. And actually, when you guys are watching this, I'm pretty sure that they'll be staying with us. Yeah. I'm so excited because I think it's going to be so good for us just to be around Hudson, their baby. It's crazy. We've only met Chelsea and Nick in person one time. Yeah. But I feel like I've known them forever also i wanted to add we don't only have friends that are also on social media oh that's, because yeah. we're just talking about them because like you guys obviously know them but and but actually though like 
they are some of our closer friends. It's though. true. I will say that. Yeah. Um, and then obviously you guys know Byron and Jordan. Those are yeah. like our, our very close friends. Because when we first started social media, we didn't like ever meet up with any other influencers or anything like that. And it's not like we intentionally like sought out influencer friends. I think it just happened naturally. Mm -hmm. And then they actually are our friends, if that makes sense. It is a little over 12 o'clock in the afternoon, and Savannah is over here. I need to rest. It's 12 o'clock rest time. I have to take like a midday relax, and I like to just watch shows and sit on the couch because that's pretty much like my only energy I have. We don't have cable. We just, I don't know the last time we've bought cables. We've been using an app called Philo TV. It's perfect for our Apple TV and our cell phones. And also thank you Philo for sponsoring this video. Philo TV is a live and on demand streaming service that has over 60 plus channels streaming your favorite shows in their current seasons. My favorite show right now to watch is definitely Family Feud. Cause we, we get competitive. We get super competitive. <laughs> They have some throwbacks on here too, and y'all know my favorite show, Martin. Martin is on here. But what about Friends though? The I've been, Josh doesn't know Friends, you guys. Like he's seen it, but not seen it, seen it. So I think we should watch the entire thing. You're saving hundreds of dollars without getting cable. They have this, like I said, on all the apps, your phone, your tablets, they have it on Roku, cause you guys know we have our Roku TV. Another thing is it's only $25 and we've been trying to just budget and plan more, especially yeah. with the baby coming. Mm -hmm. We love that it's super affordable cause we're not spending like hundreds of dollars on our cable bill. We definitely have a link for for you guys click the link in the description and you can get a month free of Philo TV we've been enjoying especially with our date nights we're in our little nesting phase definitely oh you said we right. I guess you can nest too I'm can nesting. husbands nest you know I went to camp with you yeah, yeah I got your booger Fear that I got on your man Steve Harvey Steve Harvey <laughs> name something you'd hate about being married to King Kong <laughs> He's big and hard. He's too big. He's too big. <laughs> I didn't mean that. He's a gorilla, Steve. He's a gorilla, Steve. He's a gorilla, Steve. <laughs> 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 He's awesome. Baby, come here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know it was coming. I know it was definitely coming. You know that we've talked about like infused Red Bulls before. I said Red Bulls. Red Bulls. Red Bulls. We get them from like it's it's kind of a West Coast thing, I think. Yeah. But I grew up with like a couple different coffee shops called Black Rock and Dutch Bros, and it was like such a thing in high school to get flavored Red Bulls, and I got Josh hooked on them. Blessed my life. Okay, so yes, we understand Red Bulls aren't like the best thing for you, you know, but um, Josh doesn't drink coffee So I told him I was like babe You have to have like some source of caffeine when baby gets here because you're gonna be exhausted and you're gonna be needing a little boost Yes, ma'am. I thought it'd be fun to do like a little at-home Red Bull bar blackberry uh, Strawberry and raspberry Those are my, That's the best combination. We can also get more flavors too and you can use these for other things a Raspberry white mocha is really good. So like I could use a little bit of this raspberry and make a coffee too so where, where are we gonna store these will they fit oh, on no. this shelf i wonder if anyone works at like black or dutch yes let us know if we're doing this wrong because right. they're probably laughing right now how excited we are over just putting these little things in what so you just do ice to the top you know i'm a lot ice guy no baby trust me this is how they make them you do it ice to the top ice to the top guys ice to the top okay I guess we don't need this till the end, but all right. So Destiny said to start with one pump of each. Do oh, we, we don't do the red. We don't do the Red Bull first. No, the syrups first. Syrups first. Because I think once you pour the Red Bull in, it helps like mix the syrup. Okay. You know what I'm saying? All right. One. 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 Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. One raspberry. One and one strawberry. Yeah. Yeah. When I think of Portland, I think of Oregon City, where Savannah's from. I, I think, think of this. this and a Don Chico's burrito. If you know, you know. I feel like it needs to be sweeter. I can tell by the color. Or is it good? Maybe a little sweeter. Okay. So but, Destiny said to do a fourth of each now. Okay. Is it good? But that's good. Though. Okay, let me do a fourth of each. 
I'm, I'm trying to lay on your chest. Oh, I'm getting okay. This is <laughs> this is new. <laughs> okay, so I'm pretty sure it's a few days later from the last clip. I don't even know what the last clip was that you guys saw, but I wanted to vlog because I'm actually about to get our guest bedroom all ready for our friends that are coming into town. I think we told you, um, Nick and Chelsea and their baby Hudson are gonna be here. Actually, I think by the time you guys are watching this vlog, I am about to just like prepare our guest room and get everything set up for them So I thought it'd be kind of fun to show you like what we do when we have guests coming to town I think I got like a few things from Target just to welcome them on their bed like look cute little things in a basket So I'll show you that too, but first I'm going to take off all the bedding and wash it <laughs> Rude. <laughs> This little girl can I have the sheet? <laughs> Can I have it? You want to very loved. Oh, I love you. You're so sweet. Can I have it? Ruru. She's kidding. about the weather this morning. Oh yeah, we in Portland. Uh, but I woke up this morning and it was 35 degrees. Talk about it. Everyone was like, you're not gonna like Michigan after the winter. I don't know, cause I'm ready for the snow cause I feel like that will make me happier. Girl, it's gonna make, it's gonna be colder. Okay, all I know is I was freezing this morning. I did not know it was about to be in the 30s. I was like, is this normal? I'm confused. Y'all, we turned the heat on for the first time last night. <laughs> did you tell them that? No. My mom was in town, and my mom, I see where I think I get my coldness it's from. It's definitely from your mom. Because my dad likes it cold Yes, I, Yes, I know that. She was cold, and we felt so bad, and we was like, okay, I guess we just turned the heat on. Yes, and also our room is upstairs, and so heat rises, obviously, so our room is like... A comfortable temperature so I didn't even really realize that it was like freezing downstairs so anyways it was freezing this morning and I wasn't ready in other news our friends Byron and Jordy you guys know we've talked about them obviously a lot they've been on the channel but if you don't know they are pregnant and uh, Jordan and I are 10 weeks apart in our pregnancy we were waiting to find out what they were having and I honestly kind of thought it was a girl they've been praying for a boy they're actually prophets I think because <laughs> they knew we were having a girl and They're having a boy. They're actually out of town right now. They're coming into town tomorrow. We're gonna pick them up from the airport, but I thought it would be so cute, so cute, if we decorated their house, because we couldn't be at the gender reveal and we really wanted to be there. So we're actually gonna go to Party City right now and get a bunch of like, maybe some balloons, some blue things, it's a boy signs, you know, all that stuff. Exciting. And then we can decorate their house so that way when they come home from the airport, they have like a little celebration. Our daughter, already has like a lot of boyfriends um and it's crazy yeah okay so we have our friends nick and chelsea they have a boy hudson so she's got hudson she has our friends caitlin and antoine they have a boy and so she has bear what a what a name also uh, caitlin and kyra they have, <laughs> okay it's like this is she's literally not even here i'm like setting her up for all these marriages but they have two boys so we have kaiser and They'll carter a little older and they come from a good home so yes. i'm fine with and i'm i, I kind of like that like i you know boys yeah. mature slower yeah. so i think what you've never heard that okay now they're having a boy so now we have another boy that i don't know what the heck happened to the exposure i look like it just popped right out of the ghostbusters anyways we're going to party city we're gonna decorate their house that's, <laughs> that's the moral of the story not that our daughter has five boyfriends that's crazy <laughs> Guys, what the hell? 
shook right now. Guys, you guys are the best. But I just put it down. I can't hold it. Like just, I you don't have to hold it. To I'm not holding it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. And it's hot. It's not hot. I am hot. Oh my gosh! I think I'm gonna cry again. Again? When did you cry? <laughs> I cried yesterday. I never experienced the pregnancy hormones until now. I'm crying. I've been experiencing them first. <laughs> Dude, please, I know you're driving by. I need you to hold the vlog. I can't hold the vlog. You have to. Oh. We're, we're, look, we're stopped. Just intro it, and I will take over. I also got... <laughs> okay, the mic just completely fell off the top of our camera, so I don't really know what that means.